Time to get some work done today. Whew. It's freezing cold. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, we've got our dizzy cap and our rotor button. I reckon we'll try and get this thing running a lot better. Let it actually get up to operating temperature. I haven't even let it get up to operating temperature yet. <laughs> if I'm lucky, I might even be able to see if it drives up the street. I'm going to start off by popping the plug leads off. Get them out of the way. Because I've got to pull them all out, pull them off the retainers. Luckily, these are all numbered. Got it. So this shouldn't be too long a job, five minute job. We'll just have to make sure we put them all in the right order. Pull the uh, rotor button and the uh, bottom of the dizzy off. It's a bit of a shitty angle. Bit of base. Now I'm gonna have to find that. Okay, so I managed to fish this out. It was hard to find in the dark. So the beauty with these Falcon distributors is they've got this little little cap. It's got a locator on the bottom side, and then the cap locks into this one here, into here. So you can't get it wrong and then we can work out our firing pattern from there all right so the firing order on this falcon 6 is one five three six two four so we'll find one it starts there five three six two four so as you can see, number one lines up with the locator in the distributor cap. So we'll transfer these over. See they were quite corroded on there too. Plus with that middle bit missing. We've now got that middle bit. Where was I? One five three. Six, 
and four. And then the coil in the middle. Make sure they're all seated home, clipped on. And then that one I'll poke down there because these feed up over. That one will feed under. We've got a new rotor button and our new mid piece. Be much better su suited for sparking. All right, so I'll pop this base cap on first. Make sure it locates. Yep, that's it. Rotor button can only go on one way. So you turn him till he pops down. Should be something around there. Fun job of feeding all this spaghetti back through and out the right intake hole. Ford certainly didn't give you much room. back off in a little while. Pop the airbox back on and in the car. Get it all tidied up. All done.
take the oil level off from the starter runner. Just let that sit for a sec. And we'll, uh, I think it leaks a little bit after that leaking oil pressure switch. I haven't topped it up. Yep, it needs oil. This is the, uh, the longest I've been able to have this thing running, actually. It's, um, don't look to have any leaks. Not anymore. So it's uh, for an off kitten. The longest chance I've had to really have it running. Oh, do you reckon the AC still works? Oh, clicks in. I'll be cold AC. Get over that. Cold AC. Oh well. Successful day. We'll let her keep running and see if we can't get her up to normal operating temperature. And uh, see how it goes. Well, that snow's been running for a little while now. Had a chance to relearn its idle and everything. Start really easy now and just idle like a dream I think the uh, clutch fans knackered it doesn't stop spinning I reckon we can blow this thing up just nicely and that's it for us this week thanks for watching comment like subscribe i'll see you next time on lps racing what do you know when i your dog you can see i'm trying to record here hey?